Business Brain, episode 450 for Friday, May 19th, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take our business brains and apply them as a filter, like a filter, to all manner of things throughout our lives and See if we can get a different perspective, a more valuable perspective, and enhance our lives. Keep living that charmed life together. Sponsors for this episode include found.com slash brain, which is business banking. Business banking? Easy for me to say. (laughs) Something new. (laughs) Business banking that tracks your expenses. It helps you find write-offs. It's very cool. And then thinkific.com slash business brain, where you're going to go to get one month of Thinkific Plus for free. We'll talk more in depth about both of those in a little bit here. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire on Casual Friday, I'm Dave Hamilton. Happy Friday. It's Shannon Jean from Lafayette, California. How are you, man? I'm, uh, I'm good. You know, crazy week as always, which is good. I, you know, I've, I've uh, successfully removed the word busy from my yeah, uh, vocabulary. Like that. Yeah, no, I am, I am either productive or not productive, and regardless of whether or not I am busy. So yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's good. People always ask, "Are you busy? Can I call? Give you a call?" And I use your trick. I say, "Well, I like to call it productive, but I, I'm certainly available <laughs> if you want to call me." <laughs> yes, yes, I'm always working at being productive. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. Good. Or well, not. Hey, like if uh, I'm taking downtime, well, okay. then I'm not. Yeah, yeah that's fine. That's, you, but, use your yeah. business brain for that too. Exactly. Um, exactly. If it's okay with you, I, I, I tell you, there's a company that I really love that I've done a lot of business with over the years that I find myself at their stores yep. all the time that I buy their my gas, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, fill up my car in there, uh, and that's Costco. Oh, yeah. And, Same. Yeah. 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 And, uh, they're, they're just a, a really great group to deal with from a – Consumer standpoint, but also from a business standpoint, that I could tell uh, stories in uh, uh, about that. Maybe no, they sneak they one, definitely sneak one in here. Yeah, they they have um, they have done a good job at marketing a an interesting business model to yes. the masses, right? And I mean, I've heard their CEO talk about how he likes it to be a treasure hunt when you go to to Costco, right? If you don't know That's what great. you're going to yeah. find. And, and uh, I think that's You're right. you know, one of those things, like it's, it's, it's built to be a treasure hunt. Like things are intentionally built that way. It's a fascinating. And thing. when you find it, you'll, you, you never know how it, long it's right? going to be there. Yes. So right? you will and buy it a, then. Yeah. And, and yeah, lots of it. That's right. <laughs> that's right. So one of the first ones that, that, that now this is from uh, a tweet that I, uh, uh, from a guy on Twitter, Joe Portsmouth. Okay. And we'll put it, put a link in the show notes yes. uh, to Joe's. Twitter feed, which I, I really like this, but the first one, which I think is so powerful, and we've talked about it a ton on the show over the years, is reciprocity. Oh, yeah. You know, doing something of value first before you're requiring someone to pay you or anything like that. And it's no secret that, you know, Costco's big reciprocity is their free samples, right? Where you're walking down the aisle and thank goodness after COVID ended, they finally brought those back Uh and uh, I would feel bad for the free sample, like in the vitamin aisle or the, you know, or the, the giving out oh, something that you can't, you that, can't just that you, immediately no, not, taste or yeah. Yeah. Experience. yeah it's not the eating. Cause there are, they do some weird ones. You're like, huh? huh. Okay. Well, that's kind of a, yeah. you got stuck with the wrong cart today. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. But the food ones are, are awesome. You know, uh, that that's where and, the, the band, right. the samples got their name. Oh, is that right? Yeah. They were like broke college students or whatever. I don't know if they were college students. They were, they were broke yeah. musicians. And they would go to the local warehouse store. I don't know if it was Costco or BJ's. I I, I forget. Um, but uh, but you know they would like that they, they would live as much as they could off of eating the samples. And so that's, that's where yeah. The and I always came from. I do yeah. And I and I do feel kind of obligated to to go. Well, hey, where? Oh yeah, maybe we should get these if I like it. You yes. Know, and, uh, well, because you're you're there with another human, right? And usually, and they've yes. given yeah. you a thing. Yep. Right. And you taste it and they see your reaction while you're talking. It, like, even if you're just there alone, you're talking to them saying, well, that's pretty good. Or no, I don't like that. But, you yeah. know, especially if you're there with, you know, your, your partner or your kids or whatever, is it friend, whatever. And you say to them, wow, that's pretty good. That person knows you just said that. And you know that that person knows it. So now you feel like, well, 
I guess if I, if I, they gave it to me and I liked it, I really should buy it. Like there's definitely yeah. that guilt game being played. I, agree. I think it's really so, smart. Yeah. The thing I, like I would ask our listeners is how could you implement some sort of reciprocity uh, in your business? If you do, please, you know, feedback at businessbrain.show and let yeah. us know so we can share it here. But I was thinking about this uh, the other day, you know, let's say you were an HVAC company. Uh, can you, you know, I don't know, give away free filters uh, once mm -hmm. a year to customers with your, oh. go out and, you know, because uh, that seems like those are, they're very inexpensive. I'm sure at least even more so to the company that buys them yeah, in bulk. Right. Yep. Um, but that, what a great way to get into somebody's house or to get into a commercial building is say, hey, I'm, I'm just stopping by. We're changing filters for free. Uh, you get in there, get to meet someone. You have any problems? Anything, everything? Oh, you know, I noticed this one thing. Yep. We're not here to sell anything today, but let me give you this information. This is what we would suggest you have someone come take a look at. Yeah. You know, that that that's cool. I think it'd be, um, it would get my attention. I like it. I like it. Yeah, me too. Number the, two, the second, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was going to say number two is commitment and consistency. And the idea is if you can get someone to make a small commitment to you, they're more likely to do uh, larger commitments down the road. And for Costco, that's the membership model. I, and I love yeah, the totally. membership model, right? It's, yep. it, you know, it's almost inconsequential. People say, gosh, I... Why don't they just give it away for free? Well, because if they did, you wouldn't value it. You wouldn't use it. You wouldn't go there to justify the fact that you spent money for the membership, right? Even though it's yeah. like 25 bucks. I mean, they give it away some like not, they don't ever give it away, but they'll right. cut the price in half. They don't care about that. They just care that you've given them something. So that's yeah. right. I, I recently took my mom over to get new hearing aids and she needed to get a new membership because uh, we'd maxed out ours. Uh, long story. But anyway, so they, they said, hey, if you're here for hearing aids, you should get the, uh, you know, merchant or whatever the level of membership that was like 120 bucks. But because they said you will get all your money back. And if you don't, here's the clincher. Just come up to the front and we'll refund you the money and give you the other card. Yeah, you know, I thought that was great. And, yep. you know, they get, you get this card, you do all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a uh, brilliant. And if you look at the Costco earnings, amazingly, their profit is often based on their membership revenue. Th those numbers are very uh, uh, close when they announce their earnings. It's pretty interesting. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Fascinating. Fascinating. Yes. All right. Look. No one starts their own business because they're dying to do paperwork, right? No one's dream is to just send and track invoices all day. All that paperwork adds up, though, and it keeps you from the stuff you really want to be doing. And that's where I think our sponsor, Found, could change the game for us as small business owners. Found is all-in-one business banking that makes all your finances so easy. All the stuff that you put off doing, Found does it for you. Here's how it works. With Found, you have a business checking account. Use your Found card and all your business expenses are automatically tracked and categorized, right? So that's easy. When it's time to bill your client, you can create, customize, and send an invoice right from the app in seconds. When you get paid, the money goes directly to your Found business checking. The best part, Found automatically sets aside the right amount for taxes so you're not empty-handed at tax time. With Found, your books are in order, everything's in one place, and you don't have to think about all the little details. Even sign-up is easy. It's free and it takes just minutes. Plus, if you spend $100 with your Found card, you'll get a $25 bonus in your account. There's no commitment. Try Found today and see what a difference it can make. Head to found.com slash brain or use promo code brain to try Found today. Terms and conditions apply. Found is a financial technology company, not a bank. Found's banking services are provided by Piermont Bank, member FDIC. Remember, head to found.com slash brain or use promo code brain to try found today. Listen, you know, customer education isn't just nice to have for growing our businesses. It's essential. And there are only so many hours in the day for you and your team to personally onboard and address the needs of your growing number of customers. That's why you need our sponsor, Thinkific Plus. Thinkific Plus provides businesses like yours with a powerful, easy-to-use educational platform to keep your vendors, partners, 
and customers informed, engaged, and coming back. With Thinkific Plus, you can create memorable interactive content with their live lessons, communities, assignments, engagement surveys, and more. You can generate monthly recurring revenue through membership programs and course subscriptions. And you can transform those leads into brand advocates by offering high value education at every stage of the customer journey. Thinkific Plus will help your business grow too. Don't wait. Sign up today for Thinkific Plus. Right now, as a listener of Business Brain, you get a free month of Thinkific Plus when you go to our special URL. Go to thinkific.com slash businessbrain. Start your free month today at thinkific.com slash businessbrain, thinkific.com slash businessbrain, and our thanks to Thinkific Plus for doing what they do and for sponsoring this episode. All right. Uh, the third thing on their list here for Costco's seven principles of persuasion is social proof, because people often look to others to determine how to behave. Right. It's kind of yeah. built into human nature. And the way Costco does it is with uh, long lines. When customers see a busy Costco store, lots of foot traffic or long lines at the checkout. It signals that the store is popular and offers great value to all these other people who are willing to deal with the crowds and the lines. And so it makes it feel like the right decision for you to do the same. So smart. Yeah, I would say in the parking lot's the same way. You know, it, it's always packed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you, no matter what time you get there, it's you're, you're always fighting for a parking spot. And uh, sometimes it keeps, wants to, you know, keeps you from going over there. But it is, you're like, oh, everybody's here to save money, right? Yeah. 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 And and number four is authority. You know, people tend to follow the advice or instructions of those they perceive as experts or authority figures. Well, Costco, you just you believe they're experts at getting the best deal because, you know, their their buying power is so huge. I, I most of the time you look at something and go, I know it's going to be a good price here. I don't have to pull out my phone and and you know, versus some other places I may wind up uh to see if it's a good price. Now I may have to buy you know, 10 pounds of it that I didn't want, but yeah. uh, <laughs> you, you, you think you'd go. But if you look, every cart is packed to the brim, right? Yeah. Uh, people well, don't it could, go I mean, you get buy, four things, your cart's you packed know. to the brim at Costco. It's yeah. like, you know, yeah. that's how it works. Yeah. Are you, exactly. uh, as an aside, are you, I know you're, you know, you and I are in similar spots in our lives. We're kind of, you know, sort of empty nesters, uh, you know, uh, as, as the days progress. Are you finding that you're shopping at Costco as much as you used to? I well, we have one pretty close to us. Yeah, so I same. We when I say we, I mean primarily my wife because mm -hmm. she's much better at this de uh, de in de department than yeah, I am. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're probably there once a week. Oh wow! Yeah. Why? Are, why do you are, like I, like cause, yeah, because because strategic. To the strategic right okay so you're buying certain things there and then other yes. things like yeah yeah okay all right yeah so we sense. have like vacation rentals that we visit frequently right. and they all have to be stocked with things like paper towels and toilet paper and that all makes that, sense and okay all this stuff uh yep. we buy meat there because i like yeah, yeah. to smoke you know brisket and yada 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 and it's great price and great quality yep. and so there's a few things like that that makes sense that makes sense yeah yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'll tell you this quick okay. story. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so I, I, you know, Costco sells a ton of clothes, right? Whether it's you mm -hmm. know, dress pants, shirts, whatever it is. And I, I was up in Kirkland or actually in Issaquah where their, uh, their head, headquarters are. And I was meeting with a bunch of Costco people. I was sitting around a table and I was trying to get this deal and, and negotiate with them. And I was just trying to break the ice, you know, and I said, look, uh, I just want to say, I feel like I'm uniquely qualified to, to do this deal because basically everything I'm wearing came from Costco <laughs> it may, with the exception of maybe my shoes, but yeah. you know, my socks, my underwear, my pants, my shirt. Yeah. And so everybody laughed. And then we went around, I'm all, how about you? And we went around the table and there wasn't a single person there that didn't have something from Costco that they were wearing. Yeah. Uh, and it really broke the ice and, you know, Costco it, used it, to be where I get all my clothes. Now it's moved to Amazon because I'm yeah, I, like, it yeah. means I don't even have to leave the house so I can, but the <laughs> Amazon essentials better. brand is like the same as the Kirkland brand. It's like yeah. fine stuff. It's, it, you know, you're not going to turn the heads of any fashionistas, but that's fine. Like, you know, I'm a podcaster, yeah. so it's all good. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, I thought yeah. that was kind of interesting. So number, uh, number five is what he calls liking. 
and and that is that people are more likely to be persuaded by someone they like or find attractive. And this is where one of my favorite principles comes in because every business is the customer service business. Costco is known for its friendly and helpful employees. And then that makes it a more pleasant shopping experience, makes us as customers feel valued. We trust the brand. We trust the store. We trust the people. And that's how they notch up the persuasion. Uh, yeah. Everybody's real great. friendly there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's and great. of course, the next one, which we kind of mentioned in the we intro, is scarcity. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, the perception of scarcity can increase the value of an item. And uh, if if you're looking at something and you think you might want it, you need to get it at Costco because the inventory moves. Uh, they clear stuff out quickly. One little tip, if the price has a, the ending has a seven in it, that product is going away. That's their clearance uh, code. So if you see that something has a, you know, you know, 2937, it's probably not going to be there in the next week or two. And you definitely need to snap it up. Ooh, that's a good little tip folks. There you go. That's yeah. the, uh, that's the, you can't business. find that in all, in all podcasts. That's the business know? brain <laughs> tip of the week right there. I like that. That's good, man. There it is. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, the last one is unity. You know, we, the, the, really the tribe mentality, right? People are more likely to be persuaded by someone that they perceive as being similar, you know, or part of your social group and Costco's in-store experience, their warehouse style stores. It's a unique experience and going there is an event. And so, you know, you're, you're, you're there with other people who are there for the same event. And people will tell you, oh, yeah, you know, I saw this over there. I saw this here. I'm excited to be here like this. And uh, and it creates that that group think that tribe mentality that really yeah. kind of, uh, you know, you feel like you are part of a club, like you've all Definitely. paid your membership fee. You know, yep. it's you could say it's the Costco cult. I don't know. But, you know, there yeah, you go. Okay. Like whatever. Yeah. I, these are great tips. And you, uh, I would encourage you to think about them as they related to your business. But I think Joe did miss something very important. All right. And that is the dollar fifty hot dog and, and soda. <laughs> that that has never changed that they, you know, it, it, people come in there just to get lunch. I see all these construction guys, yeah. and, you know, uh, rolling up in the door and it's at buck fifty. You, you might argue that the five dollar... Uh, Wrote, you know, rotisserie chicken is a second runner up, but that's in the back of the store. So they suck you all the way in. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, we could jump into what a $5 chicken, uh, what it takes to get it there, but <laughs> right. that's not the, not the point. Yeah. Right. Right. Anyway, right. But a great store. Uh, you know, if you have used some of these things in your business, these persuasion, uh, techniques, feedback at business brain, Dot show we would love to hear from you absolutely again that's feedback at businessbrain.show and as always if your email is featured in an episode you're entered in to win a macbook air here it's something we're doing for 2023 make sure to check out our sponsors thinkific.com slash business brain and found.com slash brain keep living that charmed life and uh, we'll see you next week <laughs>